And then with this app on the phone, you can go from halogen all the way to super bright LED yeah, just bright off light. your finger. And you can change it, as you well know, to any color you want. Bob Carr with the Bob Carr Show. In this episode, back in the studio with one of my fellow team members, Graydon Bird. Graydon, how you doing today, buddy? Good morning, sir. Doing well. Been a hot, hot day. Hot yeah, week. Been hot, hot, hot. And uh, so what's new? I haven't talked to you in a while on the, on camera. Yeah, I know. It's uh, been a few episodes before I've been back on. Uh, just out and about every day, running to the most interesting job sites, whatever's got the most of our guys working it, whatever's the most beautiful landscape. Give me a cool project you've been working on. I, I kind of got the feeling you're working on a cool lighting project behind the scenes. That was a full day. Uh, I spent all day there, even though there were other jobs going on. That was my focus of attention because it was a huge Bluetooth lighting job. So I wanted to make sure I got a lot of B-roll. So we always call it Bluetooth because that's what's on the box, but really it's a smartphone enabled lighting fixture where as we know, you can go through the app, you can control the temperature. And then with this app on the phone, you can go from halogen all the way to super bright LED yeah, just bright off light. your finger. And you can change it, as you well know, to any color you want. Yep. Which is fantastic for any of the holidays or if you want to go with a teal color and, and have it lit up. We did that at Richie Pettibones, if you remember, last year on his pier. Yeah, that, we that, had that turned out really, really well. That was beautiful at nighttime, that color. We did it over at... Uh, uh, Izzy's house in um, Davisonville. Yeah, in previous that years. The pool, Remember? That turned out really well when we went out that night yeah. to film everything. You can change all the colors, just walk around with it and change. So that's always a that's a cool uh, technology and a great lighting fixture. So tell me a little bit about this project you got you've been working on. How's that going? The one that was right before Easter. This client really wanted to have all the fixtures installed before. Easter arrived because he was having a lot of family over. Okay. They enjoy their time together, big family party. They wanted it outdoors in their big uh, back patio. They just had some landscaping done and we highlighted a lot of the most important features and it turned out really, really well. Were the folks happy with it? Oh, of course, always. What else you got working on? Are you getting new camera gear you've been working with? Yeah, I've been messing around with the new gimbal. Um, it makes a lot of B-roll a lot more of a higher quality, a lot more stable. You There's like a lot that? less after effects that I have you to like do. You like using the gimbal? Yeah. Makes no, it's, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it takes a few minutes to set up. It's not as fast as throwing the camera on a tripod, but I think the job site walkthroughs are way smoother. We can, I can just follow behind you where you walk at me, and it just makes the pans, the turns. It's probably good too for teaching too, when you're making uh, commentary pieces for teaching for the guys. Yeah. You know, teaching the the, uh, the newest employees, different techniques we're doing. They can focus on watching what the clip is, listening to your narration over top of it, and not have to worry about my shaky hands because it was cold that day or I, I was you. just running around and couldn't be there that long. How's it going with the spring startups? You stay on top of that, getting a lot of- Yeah, those problems. are keeping me really busy, jumping around between three or four of those a day, as long as you're nearby, that's what I enjoy the most is when I can bounce between a lot of those job sites instead of being stuck at one. Graydon, I appreciate you hopping on this morning and, uh, and chatting with me as always. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me back on. And for this episode of the Bob Carr Show, that's a wrap. And stay tuned for next week for a latest and greatest episode of the Bob Carr Show. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching this episode of The Bob Carr Show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you next week with a new episode of The Bob Carr Show. Talk to you soon.